When you're being told you had 24 hours to remove video over some nonsense bullcrap uh, that I've recently had to deal with today, you kind of feel like that you've just been kicked in the gut. Well, it happened in my situation today, and there were some nasty comments on one of my earlier videos. Uh, most of them were sexual. Uh, those comments got removed. I know who posted them. Not going to mention no names. What are you people trying to prove? Thing is, I post these videos specifically for fun. I do it as something on the side. And the earlier video that I posted before I posted my latest video that I put up today, uh, Spending Time with Misty, uh, there's two of them. There have been some lewd, disturbing comments on the video, say something about licking feet, bestiality, and all this other stuff. But there was one particular comment that threw me off. Um, completely had taken me aback, uh, not expected, uh, did not see it coming at all, stating that I had 24 hours to remove the video or I could face criminal charges for bestiality. It's not something that happens a lot, like I never really, I want to straight up tell everybody right now the video had nothing to do with bestiality it was just me spending time with the animals uh, useless being one of them Misty being the other um, seeing that I'm not gonna see Misty for quite a while due to the fact that my family is away on a sort of a year-long trip and for some reason, to be told that I'm into bestiality, that for some reason that's a major turn on to others, that they think that it's lewd, disturbing. You know, obviously I am going to get comments like that from time to time, and the best thing that I can do on my end is to delete the comments and possibly report them if it gets really bad. But to be told that I had 24 hours to remove the video, I mean, I know who posted that comment as well. That comment got removed and that comment also got reported. Here's what I want to say. I cannot force people uh, to like my videos. I cannot force people in the community to even do so much as watch my videos. If you don't like my content, fine. You don't have to like it. But don't be making slanderish comments like, oh, you're promoting bestiality or you have 24 hours to remove that video. The video that I posted, the last one that I did, had absolutely nothing to do with it. But somehow a lot of people took that as such and... So I'm not impressed with that at all, uh, but I did remove the comments and I did report them because I didn't like the direction uh, that these uh, comments were going. Um, obviously, my internet service provider can detect if I posted anything illegal, such as bestiality, onto YouTube. So, And if my service provider... Uh, has detected such they would have commented or contacted me directly. I don't get other people, other YouTubers, other people that have YouTube channels to come on and make comments like that. For about 14 years, maybe 15 or 16, 
I've had my YouTube channel and most of them were basically on my family pets most of them were on me going on trips and over the last few years even this year uh, most of them were GoPro related adventure type videos um, seeing that pretty much almost all of our family pets are gone most of them have passed away um, useless is still around and we just recently adopted Misty about a year ago and I don't I haven't been posting very much Let, let's be honest here I have not been posting very much onto YouTube and it's for good reason and if you guys can't already tell I'm sweating my brains out because it is extremely hot and humid in this unit I did get on my landlord to see if there's anything that can be done to get like central air and only to be told they're not going to do it because they don't care about the tenants which bites but but that's really part of the reason why I haven't really been uploading and the videos that I did upload recently it's usually videos here and there just random videos no, it has got nothing to do with um, bestiality or porn or anything like that. I'm not about that at all um, on my channel. But for some bizarre reason, there are people out there that are doing just that. Uh, with regard to being told that I have 24 hours to remove the video or legal action will be taken, that person had no basis to do that, especially since... The video had nothing to do with that person. That person should not have gotten involved. Um, I don't want anything to do with this person. That person needs to leave me alone. That person needs to grow up. And that person needs to realize right now, I don't post anything illegal on YouTube. So, be an adult, grow up, take responsibility for your actions. You know who you are. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, to everybody else, I want to thank you all. I wish this video was a little bit more positive, but obviously, when I receive disturbing comments in that one video, I, I can't just ignore it. Um, ultimately, it is my channel. I can post whatever content that I choose to post on here, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I'm obviously not going to always have positive feedback for the videos and that's fine you know I can't expect everybody to like the videos that's fine but I'm gonna post what I want and I'm gonna always post videos that I choose to post like I said before if you're not happy with them fine I can't force you to watch them I can't even force you to do so much as like the videos all I can do is post content out and do it for fun. Other people have been posting videos of their animals doing cute stuff, doing funny stuff, all those things, and that's basically what most of my videos are about. And, you know, I've seen other videos from other YouTubers do similar things, maybe even funnier or even cuter. That, that's what some people do with their channels. Um, when I look at Butters the Bean, that channel is about a fat cat named Butters doing cute, humorous, adorable things. When I see videos from Sarah Kling76, I think is her channel, I've seen previous videos of her pets. Um, one named Bernsey and then the other named Nudnik, and I think she has other animals as well. Um, most of her videos were about those animals. And more recently, it's about her singing and doing other stuff, but her channel was more so about her family pets, and that's her thing. When I see other YouTube channels that incorporate animals, in their videos then that's what they choose to do to do whatever they want and have some creative freedom to doing it but to those of you people out there that do support my channel and want to see more videos 
I'm with you all 100%, but if there's people out there that want to start drama, negative drama, when there's no reason to start drama at, at all, those individuals who want to start shit with me for no reason can F off. But anyway, guys, that's my rant for today. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay cool. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and peace. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I want to thank you all for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, do not forget to hit the notification bell. This is Patches84 signing off. I will see you guys next time.